We are in the fucking Patreon. Yo, thanks for holding it down tough those last two weeks, dude. We did, we had a blast. I think we Gosh, thrived. Gosh. I think so too. Instead of surviving, we thrived. That's important. That's a key important thing. Yeah. Well, th- I mean, this show is three linchpins, though. It's True. not. You know what I mean? True. It's like, oh no, Matt's not there. The, the show can't go on. But I feel like this is. I mean, three pillars. It's an organism, dude. Yeah, yeah. the show is a fucking organism. Mm-hmm. It's a worm. Cut it, off the tail. It, it something, right something did feel right about having another McCusker. Yeah, thank God for Tom. Yeah. <laughs> the bloodline. Yeah. The bloodline. No. no, the bloodline was strong. You could feel it. You could feel the bloodline. And it felt yeah, we good. were tapped in. Yeah, it was True. Very, very comforting. You guys were both very deeply rooted to Gaia simultaneously, and we channeled. Yeah, that was, dude, it was, they were, I was peeping them. They were funny. It's good stuff. Yeah. You can't not have fun. Dude, I'm, I, yeah, you really do have to. I, I have to make a real conscious effort to be continuously having fun. Yeah, but that's like that, especially when you have... I can get in a viewing mode really easily. When you're changing diapers. True. You know, that's, it's tough to, to keep fun in the, in the front yeah. of your brain. Yeah, I, get into, I, can get in a, I can slip into viewer mode very easily where I'm just kind of like just watching my life, just being like, huh, okay. <sighs> now I'm doing this. That's okay. terrifying. Interesting. Huh. I can do that very easily. Yeah, I feel like I do that uh, in a way... Where it's like gratuitous because like I you know I do it amongst comedians a lot where mm-hmm. I step out and I just like watch everything that's happening. I feel like sometimes I like I pig out on that luxury that I have. Like being able to laugh is a luxury that I am completely engrossed in at that's all true. times. Like everybody around me is funny. Yeah, which is sometimes I just like sit back and just watch that. I, I, you can't True. take anybody for granted, but I do think that no matter where you are, I think whoever you're surrounded by, it becomes funny. Like whatever, whatever environment you're in, you become like, and you know, it's, it's up to someone outside the group to say, that's actually not funny. These people are cringe, yeah. you know, but that's, that's you who is funny, who everywhere you go, you take funny with you. Right. Not everybody that shows up. Not everybody's so fortunate. You're saying, funny. yeah. Not everybody's bringing yeah. funny. There's also there are probably people, there's entire families where there's not a single funny person in the entire family. Very serious families. And it's just like you're out to dinner and you're just like, who are they? The Huntsmans. <laughs> 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 he sucks. I'll kick his ass in fencing. <laughs> Jeffrey, yeah. eat your asparagus. Yes, father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I knew a woe is me family. Uh, I think I talked about them mm. on, on here before, early early Stoner Dad's edition, but uh, they were called the Chickabooms. They were all overweight, and they all had catchphrases like, oh, why does this always happen to me? Or why like, were they called the Chickabooms? Because when they walked, that was the sound they made. <laughs> Chickaboom. <laughs> Chickaboom. Damn, a whole woe is me family. <laughs> yeah, they were all, they all had different, ke- like, woe is me catchphrases. <sighs> it was wild. Hard must must be nice energy. Must, must be might nice. be the most grating energy you can come up against. <laughs> dude, okay, yeah. yeah, dude, that must be real nice. It's like, dude, yeah, yeah. And I watch, I watch the uh, the daughter try to, you know, get herself out of the cycle. Try to like get herself involved. I mean, dude, she was so overweight. She couldn't. She had to walk. She was like one of those people that had to like waddle to get through society. Oh man, yeah, it sucked. She was such a sweet girl, and she was like, she actively started trying to change her life. She started trying to like make friends and do sports and like, you know, was what like, happened. Uh, I, I don't know. She kind of just like fell out of my peripheral, you know, because we were just like going in different circles. But one of her fat relatives grabbed her ankle and like <laughs> <laughs> drug her back in a fat hill. Oh, they were definitely they were definitely trying to drag her back in. Oh, I yeah. mean, like it was one of these houses that when you walked by, it always smelled like delicious food. Really? Like delicious mm. fried food, barbecued food, grilled food. <sighs> like, dude, you knew when they were like roasting something. Like, it was like like the food in this house was delicious. They had a passion for flavor. <laughs> yeah. I now you're kind of selling me on a fat fan. Yeah. Now you're <laughs> selling me on a fat fan. Not only that, not only that, you always saw delivery drivers leave, wow. like, dropping shit off and leaving their house, and it, it always smelled. It was good. like the Pentagon of fast food. <laughs> God, man, I, I was. I've never like. I honestly have never been inside that house, but I just imagined it being like, like the table in um fucking Hook, like when all the kids were feasting. Yeah, like, and all the different foods were on the table. The video game setup in a fat house is usually. Oh, so good, dude! <laughs> yeah, it's so an entire fat house. They have the best video game yeah. shit. Yeah. There was a, there was finished a lot of, basement for sure. That's like you. If you're that fat, you need a finished basement. Yeah, there was a lot of cool yourself uh, down. A lot there. of yelling came out of that house. Really, like you could hear it. Like the mom was like, 
That was just to communicate across the house so you didn't have to travel. <laughs> 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 it's fat telepathy. <laughs> 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 what time is it? <laughs> when do we got to leave? <laughs> huh? <laughs> and then he realized you have to get up here and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they, squeak they, had to, they had to come down. So there was like, a, there were porch steps. There were wooden porch steps. There were like maybe about six or seven steps. And then those went to stone steps that went down so they had even more stone steps to come down so every time they left their house it was a fu- they had to, like take a break in between steps Ooh. like you would often catch oh them. they had like a high front yard where it was like house steps like a, then yeah. sidewalk steps yeah exactly so like uh, like the entrance to a monk temple with <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Dude, so that's basically what it looked yeah. like right so then uh i remember one summer we were uh like throwing, we start throwing fucking water balloons at the the boy, because mm-hmm. everybody would just leave them alone. Because the mom would like freak out if you even would like start talking to their kids. Like she was so worried about her kids being bullied and fucked yeah, with yeah. that you couldn't even engage with them. She'd be like, "Keep it moving, keep it moving." You know, she like wouldn't let you. Damn. So one day he was out there just like playing with his like little cars and everything, and we had water balloons and we were like hitting each other with them, and everybody just like at the same time had the idea to just get him. Of course, oh, you know, and man. we just all converged on him, and he was loving it. Oh. He was being included. Her mom, like he was, that kid's mom saw flat tops over the bushes like shark <laughs> yeah. fins. She was like, oh, fuck, I got to get out there. Yeah. So that's, and that's the thing that's, so that's the thing that sucks. <laughs> He's having a good time, right? Yeah. Mom comes out, starts freaking out at him yeah. for even letting it happen. Because he's like, you know, tr- like we see, mom said, I can't get wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah based, no, oh, some, somebody, yeah. somebody also ran and gave him two water balloons. Somebody <sighs> gave him to like like to get him yeah. to come we're trying to like yeah like we were we were literally trying to pull this guy out of his world and into a little bit of fun you're trying to liberate him for a little yeah, bit that's a that's a toxic mom being like you're wet oh yeah she came out and she freaked out yeah yeah that that's a tough she, mom that we let she was she kept saying like you let them hit you with water balloons so like <laughs> oh, what dude, the he, fuck that's he, a crazy he, thing to say to your fat son it's like what did you want me to do <laughs> fucking what was he <laughs> wearing a somersault yeah, it's, yeah. What, it's what was he wearing yeah, he was, was jean jean shorts, big baggy jean shorts, and uh, a tank top. Yeah, sorry, right? bro. Time to get wet. Time to get wet. <laughs> You're wearing get wet clothes. Yeah, that's and a water good. balloon fight, right? Yeah. So he starts free- like he's so terrified of his mom. He tried to run up the steps to go to like go to the house, and he had to like stop, like at the top of those stone steps to like take oh, a breather, man. like soaking wet. T- like in that afraid to get trouble phase yeah. where everything is burning and itching inside of him, and it was just like. That was one of the saddest scenes. Dude, I've imagine yeah. that's life. fucked up. And imagining, imagine getting grounded by like a mean, fat mom. <laughs> the level of like punishments they come up with are probably diabolical. For sure. It's For probably sure. insane. With a fat mom being your jailer, that would be yeah. pretty tough stuff. That's, that's, no, no Sega for six months. <sighs> yeah. It's Guantanamo. Yeah. It's fully Guantanamo. <laughs> that's no dessert. Like, yeah. No dessert, dude. Mm. You're a hook to the good humor bar, dude. <laughs> and she just withholds, and they definitely munch yours. I mean, this was this was a dessert after every meal household. Oh yeah, no dessert means you're not participating in a family activity. All Three day. times a day, yeah, all day. You've been cut off. That's like that's the human. That's the trust fund. <laughs> that's the, yeah. the the troops, the troops are gonna have to step in. <laughs> Go to your room. We're eating ice cream sammies now. You why isn't Biden doing something about this? Yeah, I've never been able to enforce anything like that. Like, like a, no, I said, you can't get a milkshake when we go out because you said you weren't going to put your shoes on. And then they're like, and then just, I'm like, all right, well. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough thing to fight. I'm not, not going to be a fucking criminal about this. <laughs> it's a tough thing to withhold. I'm not going to be an abusive parent and say no to a, a child who really wants something. Well, it's also, you start like hitting them with treats because you're like, yeah, I might as well have. We're having a good time. This is yeah. special. A kid's having an ice cream sandwich for the ninth time. I should, you know. Oh, yeah. If I, I have one, too. If I have to punish a child by taking away ice cream and it means I'm also not getting ice cream, I'm like, all right, well, this is your last warning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Wild card round. <laughs> Just fucking blink. Double or nothing. Just blink at me. Okay. <laughs> yes. You did it. You're listening. You really fucked up back there, but I think you really learned your lesson. This yeah. is the road. Yeah, I've. I've 
Dude, yeah, my my son mans up so well because he can't he can't handle getting in trouble. It breaks him. Really? But like he'll man up for his like punishment and like suck up his tears and like square up his shoulders. And I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, you're done. It's just like, yeah, you fucking everything that everything that I want you to learn from this, you just showed it to me. Mm. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. He, he does like the avoid getting in trouble for as long as possible, and then when it's when the jig is finally up, he's like, "All right, yeah, I'll take my lashes, yeah, yeah, true." Dude, it's, 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 he, he never gonna see me cry. <laughs> you know, he, He'll cry though. He definitely cries. Oh, <laughs> deep trouble, poor guy. Yeah, poor little like, fucking pussy. Wait, I, 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 I taught him too. It's like Yikes. I taught him about like in his crying when he's getting in trouble. He, he's not only he's allowed to cry, but he's not allowed to try to use those tears to get out of trouble. Mm. Like so, he's like very cautious with how he, like where he cries. Like mm. he's, uh, yeah. Wait. Is he still trying to play that game? Is he still trying to cry to get out of trouble, even though he knows it's not going to work? No, nah, I mean he's just like he's just mm. crying because like, even though even though like, I, I what can, does that I, even mean? Well, so you can cry, but don't try to weaponize. Don't those yeah. Tears. Don't try to don't try to use them. Don't try to use your tears manipulatively. Yeah. Don't actively try to use your tears to get. What if he trouble. never even thought of that until you said that? Oh, <laughs> dude, he thought of it. True. Yeah, yeah he was true. he was trying to do it. Yeah. So I would I always have my kids talk out with talk it out that way it doesn't mm-hmm. infest you inside. And so one time I'm like like he was getting frustrated and crying more, and I was like Finn, you just say it out loud. What's bothering you? And he was like, I want my crying to work. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> all right, yeah. now, now we know. And now you have to understand that that will never be the case with me, you know. Wouldn't it be so nice though? <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I talk, like we talk about it all the time. We like we we. That's one of our ongoing jokes about how cool it would be if you could just cry. Like like you know if I, if I just wanted how, how how cool would it be if we could just get what we want from mom by crying? Be awesome. Yeah, because she's constantly tell us tell us no, right? She's isn't mom constantly with the nose? If you do like an impassioned cry. Yeah. It will work, but if you do, if you just weep, it won't work. I don't know. I think you can cry so hard you get your ass beat. But if you know exactly, while out, so that's cool. a tight. That's but if you, a, if you went, you if you went, she'll give you something to cry about. Yeah. But if you had you Latino love or energy, I'm <laughs> you talking. You get something to cry yeah. about. If you were like, babe, I fucking love you. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> that's pussy for days. <laughs> yeah, that is potentially pussy. If you for do days. like it, it's not fucking fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah shut down the sniz that's the they take the fucking power thing and go <laughs> <laughs> we power down the sniz yeah man I cried the other day and almost called I called Ansley to tell her about it and I think she just picked it up right away and she was just like I fucking love you what the cry yeah, yeah. what well, was the cry no, you don't mind me asking so I was uh, I was like going through files to like delete and I came across this like montage that I made for Ansley's mom's funeral. Mm, yeah. And I was like, I just gave it a watch. Yeah. And it and it, it got me. That'll you get know? you. Yeah, it got me pretty good. It was like, dude, it was like I when I made this, it was one of those things that, that it was like if you if there's an argument for the fact that nope, like people don't create their own thoughts and art comes from somewhere else, dude, I this mon it syncs up so perfectly. It's like I, I didn't make this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's like there are inside jokes. That are that play out in this montage that the family got that I was like, what the fuck is happening? I had no clue. What oh, the you fuck accidentally was nailed it, dude. In in so many capacities, it's mind blowing. Now I have a question, and I'm I'm being sincere when I ask this. Mm-hmm. Were you at any point tempted to use that song? It's something unpredictable, but in the end, it's right. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> were you, That's not were you ever just like, it's me. time to take this over the top, get everybody <laughs> crying? It's like oh slam my God. Turn into a funeral <laughs> DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Just need some Green Day with violin. <laughs> <laughs> All the bitches start crying. Yeah, no, I didn't. I don't, man, I wish I would. See, that's one of those things I wish I knew enough about music oh, where yeah. I could even have those peripheral thoughts mm. any but, song's gonna get the tears going though yeah but End I, of the I, road I use, song, I use songs that she liked <laughs> yeah I mean? it oh like a, man it's even better yeah it was uh, it was like a song that she would always sing to all her different grandkids yeah that's so, uh, what song yeah uh, that song Home uh, by yes what did they call it yeah, Edward Sharp. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know that song. Home, go home. You've heard, I guarantee you've heard that before. Home is whenever I'm with you. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know it. 
Oh man, I, I know you're talking like, about. Yeah, dude, but if that was, I mean, obviously you leveled the room. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was pretty wild. Yeah, I was able to pick through the rubble of the melody you're trying to fucking conceive. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, no, don't man. be, a, don't be petty. Wow. I was like, oh, I'm being petty. Wow. I channel fat family we, energy. We both forgot about that. You're still wa- so I, this. <laughs> I'm leaning back towards Sid now, dude. <laughs> I knew it would be funny. He got I knew it would be funny. He got in your crawl. I knew it would be funny. <laughs> yeah, right. I swear I went. Uh, yeah, right. I knew it would be funny. Uh, yeah, LOL. Yeah, I, I, was I was just trolling. I was just trolling, dude. At this point, I'm a comedy cyborg. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm just retain- I was retaining. I was retaining. I'm purely I mechanical. Definitely, I definitely wasn't hitting the hard melody. It's you know? well, I'm teasing. I'm, it's a purely <laughs> mechanical <laughs> reflex. That's we had, literally uh, went. I went. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that happened. With, that happened with one of our homeboys. What? Uh, we had a homeboy named Jerome. It was like so. It was like that summer when uh, like when girls start grouping together. You know yeah. what I mean? It was like like this is the hot girl group. This is the whatever this girl group is. And like you know they would have these cool little ranks. And uh, so anytime. What were the hot girls wearing? Just curious. <laughs> Just curious. This is probably a cross color summer, so it was like big baggy clothes, like big tube fucking, tops, uh, Looney Tunes uh, tees. Were they wearing <laughs> tube tops? <laughs> no, not the not Billy Button. <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. Yeah. So, so yeah, we were like, you know, we would like go try to woo these girls as a group, and then one time we went over there, and fucking Jerome just all of a sudden broke out. It's like perfect singing to like woo these shit. Fuck. And it definitely broke the girls. Yeah. But it was also like, no, that was gay. <laughs> That's Ooh. so. Yeah, he crossed the line. He did gay yeah. shit for pussy. Yeah. Like, this is my biggest dude. fear. This crip, this fear crippled me to the point to doing nothing for pussy. Oh, he, he performed. <laughs> he did an actual performance. Yeah. You know what Damn. I mean? It was like. See, if women were biologically needing our fucking semen. Dudes would just bust. It would be like a musical. Dudes would all just be singing around each other with beautiful voices. Uh-huh. <laughs> We'd all have the voices of Broadway actors. <laughs> that would probably be important. Yeah, I think that's why alien races always have like music in movies and stuff. Yeah, it's always like, whoa, that's like four people singing at once. Yeah, like <laughs> every every song. Ewok was in on the jam at the end of the movie. <laughs> There is probably, if we all, if, if you had like, well, I, I did hear if you have like, the more people you have, you throw at one song, it'll eventually harmonize into like, like an actual pitch. Mm. Mm. Just naturally. Yeah, music is pretty sick. I, I don't have it in my life enough. Yeah, but what if like, there no one actually did have a bad voice, we just don't know that melody. There might be like an application for that voice within a gigantic chorus. Whoa. And we're yeah. supposed to be like in like humongous chorus. Like you should be backing up a throat singer, like one of those like, Something like, yeah, exactly. Irish yeah, yeah, you pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> like what if we're fucking capping course like choirs at like eighty people when in reality it could be like forty. It's supposed 000. to be everybody. Although that's kind of like a football game, but if you had like a football <laughs> theater practicing once a week, that would be a nasty fucking cor- like a choir. I, I, because seventy thousand person competition, seventy thousand like, person choir, seventy thousand person per team in choir competition. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is this is this is an epic idea, Matt. Like this, <laughs> this city's got Whoa. talent. This is how this is eventually when humanity figures out how to contact heaven. This is going to be part of the plan. Well, Probably, according to ancient advanced civilized societies, this is how energy was created. This was a the way, way the song. Yeah, yeah. They would like they would make uh, these structures in a way that they would get enough people in it to like hum or harmonize or whatever they would do. Ohm. Yeah, and that would create uh, an energy. Yeah, I saw somewhere that sound doesn't move in waves, it moves in bubbles. If you actually map like the physical oh, wave okay. profile of a sound, it's more of a bubble. I don't really know. I thought I thought that was cool. Yeah, I don't I don't, any, I, don't, any, I don't have anything else to add to that. I don't I think like, I can conceptualize Whoa. that. Do you mean a bubble like expanding outward from the source? Or do you mean like floating as though you'd just blown a bubble? I don't know. I imagine <laughs> that's what I'm imagining. <laughs> I think you're. I think what you're. What you're saying. It's a, no. It's it was a, so stupid when I said it out loud that obviously that's not what you're talking about. <laughs> no, I, I imagine. At first, I went like like moving bubbles, but I think it's more of like an expanding, big expanding yeah, yeah, yeah. bubble. You're going like air, and it's going. Yes, uh, that makes sense. That yeah, might be what it is. Speech just, balloon. Those are just waves in every direction. I mean, again, I I'm just going off. What's that? 
Oh, can we see that? Yeah. Yeah. Can you show us what a sound bubble looks like? Yeah. Yeah. More of a sonic boom, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> so it's more of a three. I guess people are imagining like this. It's more of a 3D. I mean, that's. I never really pictured waves, but I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, but also, too. You know, when, when you think of like the wave, you kind of look, you're looking at it from a cross section of the top. So it kind of, you know, looking at it from the pizza slice direction. So True. Like it, it like waves out. Or you're it. not taking his ripples into account. Yeah, I don't think about the ripples. The ripples are important. That's the bubble is the ripples. Yes. Yeah. But, but that's just like all the waves in all the different directions. Do you know what I mean? It's like a, like if you accordioned it shut. Yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just thinking about the physical matter moving around my face every time I talk, and it's kind of disturbing. Yeah, because, I mean, some sound is going behind you. Like, I can hear, like, if I'm, if I'm standing oh, behind yeah. you, I can hear you. Oh, yeah. Dude, don't get me yeah. started. Did you ever get into your span of awareness, how big it actually is? If you're out in, like, an out, outdoor space, and you're, like, realizing how far you can actually see and how, like, far you can hear. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's kind of sick. Yeah. I've gotten into that before. I'm outside. I'm like, dude, I can hear shit from, like, fucking a thousand feet away. It's awesome. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I think, how much of it are you actually like rendering? How much does it actually, you know what I mean? No, it's not until I stop and go, I, I try to max it out. I'm like, damn, I can see pretty fucking far right now. Oh, this okay. is pretty sick. I can see far. I'm looking up. I'm looking upwards. That's going, I'm looking into a pretty far space and I'm hearing <laughs> like stuff that's pretty far away. It's a oh, cool thing cool. if you just do that for a while. It's wow. Pretty, pretty tight. That's how I pump myself up. Expanding your awareness? Just being like, damn, I'm, my awareness reaches out pretty fucking far. I'm going to yeah. try that on the coast. I'm going to sit I'm gonna sit on the beach this week and try to Dude, do that. Dude, take it in. It's very nice. Yeah. But yeah, I, I also, I, I, I second Tim's question in a sense where it's like, how much of that is awareness and how much of that is acknowledgement, right? And if we're looking at those as two different things, like, yeah, it's there, but like how aware of it being there are you? Yeah, until, you, depends until how you acknowledge you, it, you know what I mean? Depends, like, you're, exactly. So you're just trying to you're just trying to like zoom out. You're zooming out on the world map in your brain. I'm putting awareness on awareness, brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm putting awareness on awareness. I got you. Can you feel what's, it's bliss? Can you feel what's coming into your your field of awareness? Like yeah. are you are you in tune to the vibration of your of that bubble of your awareness bubble? No, it's not like that. I'm just being like, dude, that bird's far as fuck away, <laughs> and I can see it. It's not the biggest. I can't make yeah. it out, but yeah, yeah, yeah. My vision's going out pretty fucking far right there. Yeah. And you I hear like a car two blocks away or something like that. You hear like someone yelling multiple yeah. blocks. Like, I can't even see that guy and I can hear him. This fucking rules. I definitely like following shit off into the distance. Exactly. Yeah. That's, it's, that's it's, fun. it's fun to do. And then I see every other person. I go, damn, theirs goes out just as far. And all of them interlap. And I'm like, fuck, that's cool. Yeah. If you could all, if you could, if you could like cloud compute your brains and just create a real time map of reality. Kind That'd of be pretty nasty. Pretty tight. But yeah, it's, you know, just a little, it's a fun thing to do. Yeah, like, that, that's dude. Some, that's some just some actually, that's one of the things that I'm just like, that would be a cool thing for them to offer us when they eventually do just gain direct access, direct access to our brains over the air. Like the way you talk, like they do like the meta link thing. Like, you, yeah. When eventually I think everyone's consciousness is going to be like at least passively connected to a like global network. I mean, if you think about it, your brain it isn't a, an act of electricity, I think. Part of thinking, there's like an electric thing on the like synapse and neurons level, I think. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure your brain's generating a very low current every time you think. Yeah. So they'll probably be able to figure out how to follow those things out and maybe like... It's just a matter of like making sensitive enough machinery. Exactly. And it'll be able to directly like render your active and inactive senses. I just thought about someone hitting you with like an Om gay gun. Someone smacks it out of their hand. You're like, Whoa. yeah, but the hell was that? But then they're going to use, they're going to use the connection to the network to defend against that. Like, aren't you worried about a gay gun? The human brain network is actually, actually a blockchain. So it'd be impossible for someone to edit it from the outside. This is like going to be the presidential debate in 2040. <laughs> <laughs> we need gay gun control. Like, dude, the founding fathers didn't say shit about gay guns. <laughs> Fuck you. It's all delivered over like an Instagram live. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. There's nothing in the Constitution about gay guns. <laughs> Damn, imagine fucking gay through a gaydar machine. The only thing that stops a guy with a gay gun is connecting your brain to a 
global network of other people with passive brain connections. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That'll be the Norton's antivirus. <laughs> yeah. You walk, they have little yeah. gaydars. You walk past, and you're like, I, dude, I'm swear I never think about gay shit. I'm just fucking. <laughs> It swear. expires. You're starting to get like a gay thought here and there. You're like, wow, ticket. they're starting to get through. Get a gay ticket. You're like, fuck. <laughs> Don't explain this. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Were you gaying in the park? Be like, yes. <laughs> my free trial expired. Oh, my. Somebody must have hit me with a gay gun. <laughs> Damn, that'd be crazy. <laughs> If they could, if they could like brainwave you into moods, I, I, it's not, it's not totally far fetched mm -hmm. for a person to develop some sort of technology that completely just like wipes out whatever key thing. Well, also they, it, I think, it, you know, it's, you know, it's funny. So they simulation theory, there's, there's part of it that says that the, we can only perceive ourselves with the highest technology that we have. Right. So like back in the day, um, like the, when, when Ford started to make uh, automation, mm -hmm. people started to say that's how the human body is. We're basically automated. We're like one system that feeds another system into another system. Like that was like a, a rhetoric. We're a system of conveyor belts. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that was so we can only see ourselves to the highest technology. But I think it also goes the other way. You have to like conceive the next te technology to pull yourself up at the same time. For sure. You know, so it's like we have to like we have to conceive of the next technology in order to be there. Yeah, it's true. You're talking about man has fully conceptualized himself as a machine. Yeah. I'm talking about right so now, this conversation. You're talking about like, like electric cars, right? Well, I'm talking about this. I'm talking about gay guns. I'm talking about right now, right? That, oh, we are that would be the technological leap that mankind associates like it's the next era with. Exactly. I That's get how you. we start to understand I'm with the you brain. Now. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Well, did you, you ever, did you what, ever get into brain? Go ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just saying. What better weapon against uh, the the bad Muslims than a gay gun? I would get gay gun Kevlar. That might fire them up, though. I'm a <laughs> That's just a flat brim. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs flat brim with a sticker on it. <laughs> Impenetrable. You can't get a thought yeah. in that guy's head. <laughs> That's when you need a stop doing perks gun. <laughs> it fucking bounces right off that thing. Oh, man. Like a, yeah. sp a sport team, but it's colored like a different color than the city actually uses. <laughs> Flat brim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying this is the singularity. Like even talking about this right now, this is where it begins. This is the, this, this, this podcast, this Patreon episode is the step towards being okay, able to good. shoot moods into your head. Dude, they're going to figure out a way so people aren't like a life and death struggle with achievement. Like probably in a hundred years, and they're gonna figure out a way to like. I don't know if it's gonna be social engineering, but they're gonna chill people out. I think they're, they're already trying to condition it out of people right now. I think so. Of just being like, nah, dude, just chill. Yeah, look, we're working on the pill for this, but in the meantime, just be completely directionless, and then actually bother people when they're trying to just like strive for something. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Yeah, it's coming to where it's gonna be like. I mean, there has been a uh, in France. It was considered like. Kind of like yeah, I think the 1700s to be like ambitious, they would go. Ugh, this yeah. guy's fucking ambitious. That's so, how embarrassing is that? Ugh. That was an embarrassment in France back then. That's yeah. why everyone thinks they're pussies. That's the real reason. Because they got the ambition. It yeah, was like rich. in the 1700s, they were just like no. Yeah, it was just well, it was just embarrassing. Ever since then, it's just like pussy. It was just like, dude, accept the fact that your family stinks. <laughs> That's how they did. It. Like, yo, your family sucks. That's how the whole thing was set up. It's like my family well, rules, was, your family sucks. I mean, yeah, that's pretty common. There's some of that in bad neighborhood. There's some of that in the neighborhood I came from. It's like people, it, people don't want to see other people succeed because that means that they could also succeed if they tried. True, but it was also like the whole thing was set up in a like the majority of people accepting face value. Like, nah, you guys suck, and you have to work for us for basically nothing. I feel like my parents like, didn't really. Okay. I feel like my parents didn't want to know any of the families in the neighborhood. Yeah, and every once in a while, I would mention like a kid at school with a last name, and he'd recognize it, and he'd be like, "Oh yeah, I knew his dad, and he's kind of a fucking loser." Yeah, my dad used creep for that. He go, "That guy's a fucking creep." Yeah, <laughs> that guy's a fucking creep. And you'd be like, "Oh why?" And they'd be like, "Eh, it's a long story." Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, imagine that, that must have been terrifying. For but them. it's like they, they, no one left the neighborhood, so everyone knew everything about when they were younger. So obviously, like, yeah. Whatever yeah. anyone's low point was, you were there to witness it because for, yeah. none of you ever fucking went anywhere. For my dad, is always like, yeah. uh, like, oh, yeah, I know his dad. He thought he was good at basketball. 
Or like yeah. he thought he was good at football. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. But imagine how I, I used to like when I was younger, I thought I could just go to any adult's house. I was like, that'll be cool. Now as you get older, you're like, oh my god, I would never. I, they, they couldn't. I couldn't have my kids stay with that dude. Mm. How much I didn't realize how much adults were sussing each other out. Mm. I thought they were all in agreement. Yeah. Like, yo, let's make sure our kids are good. We're all on the same team here. When you get older, you're like, oh no, this is. It's not like that at all. Yeah, I never really spent any any uh, considerable time in somebody's house and felt creepy vibes from their parents. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't cool with that. Oh, I got. Oh, I'm, yeah. Yeah, because have you been in someone's house and their parents start like fighting viciously, and then you're like, "Damn, I'm here." That's pretty sick. I that's hate that, bro. It gives me the worst feeling in the world. Yeah, man. I just came from a family of just nonstop fighting. Yeah, ugh, it's I just hate fighting. That. It's just all fighting all day, nonstop. It's like anytime anybody, like anytime my mom called up somebody in the family, it was to fight with them. You know what I mean? It's just like it was all fighting. So it's ag- it's agonizing for me. I yeah. go to someone's house and they started fighting. I'd be like. <sighs> and I didn't have a cell phone back then, so I'd just be like, oh, I'm here for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm steeped in dysfunction for 24 hours. This stinks. Yeah, it's fun to play. For me, it was like, oh, <laughs> this is an interesting flavor. No, no, <laughs> okay. No. All right. I'd be at someone's house, hear them say, like, fuck you to their grandma, and I'd be like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Fuck. Oh, there's nothing I can do to get out of this. Dude, I get like, I remember I'd been at someone's house before. They got grounded while I was there, and I had to sit by myself. I had to just sit in a room and play by myself <laughs> while they got grounded <laughs> with like this person's grandma. And I'm like, this fucking sucks. It was absolute hell for me. Why did yeah. you have to get punished, dude? I got the whole time like, dude, stop, dude, come, dude, come on, dude, stop, yeah. dude, don't tell your dad to shut up, dude, fuck. <laughs> and it was just fucking like, you go to your room and I just sat there by myself for like six hours on a Sunday waiting to get picked <laughs> up. And I was like, this is a fucking pits. Yeah. It stunk. I had, a, I had a dude get punished, get have me used as his punishment because he didn't take. We were upstairs in his uh, room playing with Ninja Turtle stuff, and he just got the patio. He had all the shit, and, he, and we were playing with it all. And uh, his mom came in, realized he didn't take out the trash, and made him come downstairs and have to sit downstairs. And she was like, "You're, you're done playing, Scotty. You can play." So she like wanted me to like stay and play to like make the put like make that stick for him how old were you it was uh it was like ninja turtle era heavy like had when the paddy wagon came gotcha out. gotcha it was like the pizza he, wagon yeah the piece he got it as yeah. soon as it came out it was there was like I mean, no delay better? between when the first commercial <gasps> came out and he had it it was instantaneous man yeah jesus and he didn't take out the trash a little motherfucker yeah. <laughs> you fucking idiot yeah. i got the fucking blimp all to myself dude i played <laughs> hard too man did you actually you played yeah i, stuck, I played around i played a little bit and it was like because it was he was one of those kids like he he was an only child and he he got every fucking toy that came out always yeah. so when you would play with him he was constantly changing the rules he was one of those like no I called shields it's like but we didn't have shields before yeah, you yeah, know he yeah. was one of those he's so, a play brat yeah so I was like playing loudly <laughs> you know what I mean like oh like, like, yeah like, like making a lot <laughs> of plastic together, yeah. sounds you know what I mean was, yeah I had a good time I had a good time testing those things that are limits yeah throwing them up high because he he claimed that all of the turtles couldn't fit in the wagon. At the same time. So he wouldn't let no me No wonder his mom put, hated him, dude. dude. <laughs> yeah. So not, oh man, not only, not only did he have to hear himself proven wrong, but it was like, he wasn't even allowed to play. Like he, he was like, I, you, there's no way you can have that much fun with it. And you yeah. were like, watch this. Yeah. yeah. Check this out, dude. I was doing it all. It Sit in that yeah. kitchen chair for two hours and watch this, dude. <laughs> Just oh, being up by, upstairs by yourself, like, oh, landed on the wheels. Oh, and he's like, fuck. <laughs> oh, <bugger."> sure. <laughs> I, just, I just walk out of the house with him at the kitchen, like, man, how, I don't know if they, you know if they could be that fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was having a good time up there. <laughs> dude, how sick was it when a matchbox landed on the wheels? And you're just like, <laughs> fuck, yeah, dude. That would basically work in real life. Was that fucking, like, did I have anything to do with that? Or, like,. What the fuck are the chances? I must chances? be pretty good at winging Dude. Hot Wheels across the room. <laughs> Kids still hold it down like that. Yeah. My my uh, nephew's four years old. And he's like, land on the wheels. Land on the wheels. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> that How sick is that? I would, it didn't yeah. even miss a beat. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's <laughs> sick that you witnessed that because that's the coolest thing that can happen with a toy. You do like a quadruple barrel roll to a hot box and it fucking lands on the wheels and you just got to stand up like dude did anyone else fucking see that yeah mm-hmm. that there, was the shit there is also too like like when you can like design the track and like calibrate it after trial and error so that every time it goes through it lands on its wheels 
Like that that is that is a No, I think chaos I theory prevents that. Yeah. I was chaos in the stone theory. age with that. There's no yeah. way. That's like oh, the, no, the used... water drop going down the back of the hand in Jurassic Park. The, the, there's never two identical outcomes <laughs> when you're flipping a Hot Wheels car. Dude, you could, I think you're me, right. me and my brother used to get real engineering with it, man. We used to, that that was like that was the cool that was the thing to do. Like can you reproduce it though? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would mm-hmm. we would definitely reinforce our tracks that that we could reinforce uh, reproduce our results. I left it to the gods. Oh, yeah, I like the thrill. I mean, that is sick. That's thrilling to fucking master nature like that. But I was like an old hunter gatherer, dude. It was nothing but superstition. <laughs> I mean, we listen. We did we did both. We did both. That's admirable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know such thing. I just tossed that thing. and was like, fuck yes. You guys want to get into RC cars with me? Yeah, that'd be tight. I really want to get into RC cars, man. I listen. I have such bad a taste in my mouth because, like, where I, where I where I throw the ball to my dog, mm. uh, there's a guy down there that has an RC car, and he drives it around while his they're, they're standing in the parking lot. Him and his like five six year old son, and he's driving this RC car around in this hot ass asphalt parking lot as his son just hangs out. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's a it's a weird look. Is it gas powered or battery? Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you know. Yeah, we're talking about the car. Was is, it going? Is it going, is it going fifty yeah. miles an hour? <laughs> it was going pretty fast. It was like blurring. I was, it was going. It, was, it might be. A gas I don't know. Battery. They got nasty electric ones now. Do too. they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it, it seemed electric, dude. Getting a, a like a remote control car that could also well, take off like a plane would be sick. I don't know if I want to get into like nasty RC cars that like people take to the track. Or if I want to get into the nasty RC cars that can do like cool skids or maybe stop and roll over. And yeah, then come back. yeah. I don't know which way I want to go. I don't want to. I don't know if I'm going like a hobby shop or Mattel. Where's the, Where's the nearest RC track? Mm, good. I'm gonna guess Morristown, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> no, look up RC tracks in Morristown, New Jersey. I tell you what. Uh, I don't know if I could do uh, RC cars, but if 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 we want to get into droning. I was gonna say, well, I could I could fly some droning. Drones. Seem pretty cool, but I mean that's I mean that's pretty crowded. It's saturated right now. There's way too many drone dudes. I'm saying RC cars, but then the next step is RC planes. That's what I was saying. Getting one that can take off or RC cars, and you have your boy doing air support. <laughs> <laughs> air RC support gyrocopter. Would, air support would be important. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'd be tight to have you know something fun to play with like that. Although drones can get kind of weird. I know dudes who get drones who get real greedy about it and like yeah, they, flying over people's backyards. Those are the shit. cousins of the monocycle guys. Yeah, <laughs> dude, just like shameless drone head. Dude, my <laughs> my friend was or one of my friends had someone flying drones over his property and they started. He was like, "I'm about to shoot this thing out of the sky." And the drone guy's like, "Oh, it's actually perfectly legal." Yeah, I was like, "Okay, dude." Yeah, so I looked it up. I'm allowed to do that. And he was like, "Bro, mm-hmm. I will shoot this thing out of the fucking sky." If I'm not mistaken, the dude had a couple plants going. Ooh. And he was like, it's just I also, nothing crazy. Just two pot principle, boys. I know that it's legal for you to fly your drone right there, but I'm still going to smash it. What it are, was like what two, are you going to do about two it? Two personal uh, potted plants, which again, it's crazy. We can't do that. Mm-hmm. So he was being fine. And then this guy started flying. He's like, bro, if I'd appreciate it, if you stop flying. He might be cashing in on the tip line, though. You know what you could you do? You don't know. You could like tie a pair of old shoes together and throw it up into the drone. Like a bolo? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be sick. <laughs> Shoot it. It explodes. Just having a fucking detonating arrow. That'd be nasty. <laughs> you can't miss. If you miss, you might kill a fucking <laughs> Yeah, kid. you know what? I might be I might be getting into anti, anti-drone technology. Dude, See that, what that scene looks like. <gasps> that would <laughs> be nice. It's just dudes posting like, their bounties and shit. Dude. Yeah, took down four drones this if weekend. If you got some like real stealth shit to take drones out with, that would be a whole fun thing in and of itself. And you mm-hmm. can have like a kill cam. Oh, Basically yeah. Basically like a Call of Duty kill cam. We can replay like you setting up like, <laughs> and just nailing. Like, oh, a, nice one, dude. What if it was like a BB size RPG? <laughs> and you just lock onto them and fucking take drones out. Uh, I mean, you could go RC plane versus drone and arm the RC plane. That would be pretty sick. That you got into dog fights with drones. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Would you get scared? Be honest. If, yes. you got a, if you were piloting a drone, it was up like super high. Would you get a little nervous? Like you were too high in the sky or? Yeah, like would you not, how would you not take that thing to the total limit? Oh, yeah. I'd have a hard time not trying well, to get I mean, into outer space. You, you for thing. sure do, right? <laughs> but if it falls, you can fuck somebody up so bad. Yeah, but it's going to fall back into a range you can control it again. Yeah, but. Yeah, maybe. I hope. I we can know. only hope. Yeah. The Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth or whatever might take too long to reconnect. Or I don't know how they That's what it. I'm saying, dude. Like, Dude, you got to reroute the power to the main thrusters. <laughs> It runs out of batteries, and now you're just, you could like fucking just kill a kid. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, if a drone fell, the ultimate I'm, crime. Yeah. I'm I'm high. I'm going high altitude for sure. You got to. Yeah. What if you could you maybe you could reroute to RC control? This is dangerous information because now you've got a bunch of drone dudes who are thinking about ex girlfriends that they hate and they're going like, this is an untraceable crime, basically. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna start bonking them. Yeah, but they're gonna know that you, you have to hover the drone for like three hours over their head until the batteries <laughs> run out, and then be like, Shh. yeah, but it's what? It's like seven hundred feet in the sky. Yeah, but you could you could you gotta unsure. You gotta know where she's gonna be, so you have to play it tight. No, but yeah. oh, wait, are you saying are you saying go to where they are? Take it up as high as you can. Let crash it, your let drone crash. into your fucking bitch ex girlfriend. You gotta make saying, sure they don't move. He's though. saying follow her around until the battery dies. You might <laughs> have to. Well, yeah. Because what's the chance you're gonna hit her if you're 700 feet? Yeah. Up? I mean, if you got time on your hands, sure, go ahead. Be oh, my we guess. get yeah. Sydney and his brother. They could calculate it. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. One of my brothers is a pilot, dog. True. <laughs> he's got to hate drones, dude. Uh, no, he's a drone. How man. many commercial airliners did he have to barrel roll out of the drones? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's some fucking pedophile. Whoa. <laughs> pull up, pull up. <laughs> some dude sweaty in khaki shorts down there on the land. <laughs> so some dude with weekend custody trying to go big right now. <laughs> That's such a sick thing to do. His belly's pushing against the front of his striped polo shirt. <laughs> His perk pupils are fucking really small constricted pupils. Wait, horizontal stripes or vertical stripes? Horizontal stripes. For, for sure. sure. <laughs> for sure. Oh mm. man. It's it's very much you're uh, like yeah. you're not looking at the controllers, you'd be like, I'm gonna start seeing a lot more of you coming up. I'm sorry I've been busy and stuff hasn't worked out. Whoa, fucking dude, check that out. <laughs> Yeah. Your mom's being a bitch, dude. Dude, you'll understand one day they can really fuck your shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do what I did. Don't get married. Stick to drones. <laughs> yeah, man, drones are sick. Drones are sick. <laughs> Damn, red pill on your fucking kid from a divorce would be so tight. <laughs> I mean, honestly, check out Rolo Tomasi. He's pretty sick. <laughs> Dude, oh. I, I don't know. I think it came up before when it was when we were talking to the kids and you're like, do you think when you're a grown up, are you going to have kids of your own? Like, what just what are your loose thoughts on that? And I think there was a, a, a point a long time ago where my daughter was like, you guys, yeah, I think I, I'll have, I think I'll try to have a family. I want to be a mom. But she was talking about like as young as we were. And we were both like, well, Maybe pump the brakes, you know. You, yeah. It can be cool, but maybe have your own life for a little while. Yeah. You know? Dude, it's hard to convince a kid to not try to achieve something that they think worked. Mm -hmm. With a, like oh. a family, with a relationship and family dynamic. Mm -hmm. Right? We were, dude, we were literally making fun of our kids about that the other day. We were like, we were driving home from uh, the, the restaurant we ate all the we like did a surprise party for yeah. somebody at our gym and we were leaving the restaurant and we were talking about our kids like, yo, good luck finding a relationship as good as your parents. Oh. Dude, we fucking love each other. Oh. Yeah. We've loved each other for 22 years. You will likely never find that. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's becoming more of a statistical anomaly yeah. every day. Yeah, and I was, like, I was like, honestly, two of you are going to get in a relationship and try to rush that right away. Statistically, yeah. two of them will fail, yeah. Yeah, it was like, you're going to want it. That's all you're going to want is like to get to the end. You're going to want this end result that we have. But you got to build, Ooh. but you're not going to understand that because you're just going to want what we have. Well, it's interesting to think about how much you, because it, it is, it's a, it's a, at least for me, it was like a, not a wake up call, but it was like a realization of like, because you have your life before kids mm -hmm. and then you realize that mode of existence is over. And then you go, you start going like, what did I do with that? And you go, yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. So, so that's how it started for us. Cause we were like, dude, do you realize that both your mom and your dad have been with each other for over half their lives? We've been with each other more than we've lived without each other. Yeah. You're at the point. Yeah. Yeah. Siamese twins at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, dude, you'll never have that. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, yeah like it's going to happen. Statistically, statistically less and that's less. not likely. That's true. I was like, because you're going to enjoy your life, you're going to get stuck in your ways, and you're going to be like, you're having so much fun that you're not going to be able to build oh, something dude. that... Yeah, but they'll be getting like dogged out on the metaverse, no offense. Not in a bad oh, yeah. way. All of our children will be able to just plug <laughs> into the metaverse suit and just get just fucking piled on. You know what would be devastating? Oh, man, there's too many daughters between us, but like... Yeah, I know. You know, you <laughs> sons, too. Yeah. Well, I was well, going to say you spend so much time like thinking about like the kind of dudes that you definitely don't want your daughter to end up with. 
Yeah. But there's but still a real possibility that like it's you can buy them the VR experience. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's just Dude. you let them sit there for like a month, and like he eventually starts hitting them in the VR, and you're like, I try to tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry, up, and my daughter is on that right now. I keep telling them like, listen, it's okay that you have high standards on a guy because of what your dad was. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, all right. I'm kind of talking about that, but then also like, wait, th- there's also p- the potential that they just bring home a total cheese dick. Like, okay, he's not like an outright loser, but. No, you can give this them that dude too. It's kind of a worse look. Yeah. You could give them that experience too. How so? Just what to do mean? kind of like chuckling and sweating and being like, <laughs> I never, it's, yeah, I've never not gotten hard before. Fucking well. <laughs> I fucking love you. I love you so much, babe. I love you fucking so much. <laughs> we should just get to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> so they cool have that we're like really that. good friends. Oh, they have to go through yeah. that. <laughs> I brought a pack of cards. Does anybody want to play rummy? She like, pulls out the guy who like pushed her over a lawn chair and text, deletes the text. She's like, I can't do that. You unplug the simulator. Like, babe, babe, get, get babe. It's just a dream. Get up, go to school. <laughs> That'll come. They'll have, oh, man. they're going to have so much data on human beings and human behavior soon. Well, they'll be able to give like rough simulations mm-hmm. of like, you start to, like, don't be on a Twitter or Tinder where you can like probably tap into like a quick, like go on a virtual date right now. Yeah, with mm-hmm. this dude. We've used his yeah. web history. We've watched him, listened to everything he said. Like, you mean like without his four consent? Years. Like he doesn't have the consent. Like he's got a profile on his page. Like uh, when you check out like a rental property, it's like mm-hmm. take a virtual tour. It's like, okay, on this dude's Tinder profile, take yeah. a virtual date. Now, do you run it in coach mode? Like you do like my simu- my profile? Like, uh, just so profile. you know, I, I keep meaning to upgrade this part of the simulation, but uh, <laughs> it's like mostly like you'll see what I mean. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is like okay so like there's a joke in here that like is kind of sexual and flirty and i realize i like put it way too early in the night but so you'll see i'll i'm gonna move it around later but uh yeah just enjoy the simulation okay let me know how it goes <laughs> yeah. let me know if you need anything in there or no yeah no <laughs> they could do the fast forward of five years to me just being like what <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> fine yeah. you can That'd try like a fat version of the simulation Having a scratch off, like a five year scratch off, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, screaming out from within the house is the funniest <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? It's my biggest. Uh, right now? <laughs> I don't know. Where did you put it? (laughs) Huh? (laughs) Oh, that's hilarious. Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) What were you saying? (laughs) Dude, if not, if they even dare be like, never mind, you're like. Yeah, most of mine is, are you looking in the direction you're yelling? Because I can't hear you. You sound yeah. muffled. You can hear me. I know you can hear me. It is I'm nice. I'm looking towards you Yo, as I'm yelling. The trade-off is that I don't know the location of a single thing in my home. <laughs> so I get yelled at from across the house, and I every time I need to like pick up an object in the house, I have to go to my wife and ask where it is. Oh, yeah. Dude, there... It works. She hit me the other day. She goes, can you get something for me? I was like, no problem. She's like downstairs right corner of the basement under two boxes <laughs> the baby bottles from when maya was a baby i just i stopped and went what the fuck dude? yeah man how the fuck do Yo, you know that because your life is a spider web and she's the spider and what she's trying to do is build the most intricate perfect web or as close as she can get it and obviously there's variables like a real spider it depends on like the door frame that they pick and like how much traffic comes through and so everything in her life is like revolved around like making sure that you've got your shit together and now she's got whatever version of the web that she has right now, she knows exactly what's going on and in every aspect of it. Yeah. In every corner. And they're very good at like taking the house and being like, I'll make this a cool, like a nice, I'll spin this the house web, is going to be exactly chill. I want to make this house into a nice experience. Mm-hmm. She fully, I fully gave her full control because that left to me. I'm like, it's when it came cool. to house stuff, I was like, let's just wait to right before we sell it. Yeah, and just do stuff, and then sell it. She was like, "Don't you want to enjoy the house?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's probably pretty nice." It's it's very fun to make fun of women, especially for their shortcomings. But like, this is when you fully kind of understand this. I don't know design or this like mode. 
it actually becomes pretty enjoyable. It's nuts. Yeah, I think, yeah. My, I think, my, I think my spider's broken. <laughs> I got one of those spiders Jesus, that doesn't dude. make webs. They gave it weed. I got really? a fucking <laughs> jumping spider or some shit. <laughs> One of those no. tunnel yeah, They spiders. usually relax. Why a lot do you of, say that? That usually lets them relax no, a lot about stuff. Because like honestly, stuff, like if 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 I don't know where something is and Angel doesn't know what something where something is in a moment, it's like we just have to adapt our lifestyle to that not being in it anymore. Mm. Like they, we just we're not we're not we don't. Have well, that's it. just maybe not something. Like, the physical location of something is just something that she's not focused on in building her web. I'm not saying that it's like a physical thing only, but I'm sure in other aspects she's got your life completely organized. Yeah, beautifying the space. Yeah. Like yeah yeah she fucks she fucks with my schedule real hard yeah okay yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. dude I have Brittany goes through and screens my emails for shit that I forgot to reply to and just automates responses to them. That's pretty it's true. the sickest fucking setup. I, I've been trying to get my spider to do that for so long, dude. It's just that's not her strength. Yeah, she just took it on. But again, that's a that's channeling energy. That energy can seep into places you don't want it to. <laughs> just be like, did you do this? Yeah, you're like, god damn it. Yeah, it's the proactivity when channeled is the best thing in the world though. It's like I checked and you didn't respond to this lady about this thing. You, I'm like, dude, thank God. I couldn't. I, someone asked for a 1099. I'll never. Not in a million fucking years will I go print the thing out, fill it yeah. out. Yeah. I just, I, I'm incapable. And there's like money involved. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, do so, paperwork so I can give you money. And you're just like, fat chance. I did yeah. that with my tax return. I didn't <laughs> get a tax return for like pussy. eight months one time. Because yeah, I had to yeah. go to TurboTax and I was like, not today. For eight months. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gay. No, thank you. I was like, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do it. She's like, do you mind? I printed out your W nine. I was like, dude, that's. I appreciate that deeply. Yeah, no, she hooks me up. She hooks me up with stuff like that all the time. Yeah, so it's pretty sick. They're good about. Well, they believe in that stuff too. Yeah, money. In my head, I'm like, money. What the fuck's a W? That's so dumb. I don't have to do that. No, it's money rules. <laughs> yeah, it's important. You get in trouble if you don't fill out the W nine. Like, yeah, whatever. Fill it, and then you learn. You're like, yeah, that's actually very nice. <laughs> you can go to jail. That's what happened to Wesley Snipes. He's like, shut up give a fuck about it, W9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think there's a moment where he went to jail and he was like, Pew! and he got like blade vision? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you, I, do you think he got in any fights? Of course he got in fights. How long is he away? Did he, did he actually go to prison? Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Wesley Snipes did like 30 years. No, <laughs> <laughs> how long, look up how long. He was in jail for probably, I'm guessing a couple years. It might have been federal prison, which I heard is kind of chill. Interesting. But I feel like uh, there's be guys with chips on their shoulders there. Like grocery stores. That's what I'm there. saying. He's probably got a shot from all of his martial arts movies. Yeah, there's yeah. somebody. He's kind of short too, isn't he? Two and a half years. Two and, two and a half, half I was going to say two. He definitely got into a fight. Can you look that up? Did Wesley Snipes get in any prison fights? Or did he, did he? And did he do cool spin kicks? Yeah. Did he take when sunglasses happened? off slowly? Yeah, I wonder how like... How he held it down. Is there any way we can find out how Wesley Snipes he held it down in gangs? prison? He's alive, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has anyone asked him like about an in-depth recounting of his prison experience? Yeah, we should get him in a tomb. He came out as a clearer person. Okay. Hmm. He, he said that he, he definitely feels like he's been approved. From jail. All right. So it was uneventful. How old was he when he went to jail? 58. He was what? 58? Yeah. What? I, I truly don't know. I anything. thought he was like 25 when he went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> he was 58 when he went to jail for tax. What's it called? 2000. He was sentenced in 2008. He went to jail in 2010. He was 58 in 2010? Yeah, he was released in 20. Well, in I thought he was 30. He was 60. What? How old, was he like 40 when he did Blade Runner? Blade. Blade. Blade or whatever it yeah. was. Dude, Wesley what, Snipes mm. is the bar for black. He was 48. He, yeah. Dude, that's crazy. What yeah. do you guys think it was like in the like the 90s and early 2000s? I guess more in the 90s of like being competitive to be like the top action guy. What do you think that life was like? Like not only is it like doing the nastiest martial arts on film but it's also like you have to be the coolest guy promoting it yeah i mean it's you're worried about who you're being photographed with where was logan paul before the internet so question you just gotta make sure you're always being filmed with Sh mm. china o'brien yeah i think logan paul is fast track for like rock type character 
like action yeah, but he's hero. Not, he's not. Yeah, it's slow track he's at this point. He's on. He's on did you see the well. fucking wrestling match, dude? No. He did a. Was it? Am I thinking of the right person? Probably. He did a professional wrestling match, and it was like twelve foot frog splashes. It was genuinely. Yeah, it's because like, he never had to grow up. True, but I, dude, I, I like I said, I'm, I'm not like, dude. If I never, I'm got pretty a indifferent job, to the man's. I could do a 450 off the top turnbuckle, guaranteed. Dude, I'm pretty indifferent to the man's. Whatever he's up to, I'm like, yeah, whatever. That's his business. He, I watched the wrestling, and I had, I literally had to go. That was where the when the fuck was he practicing that, mm. dude? If you watch it, it, it's undeniably you go, whoa, that's fucking nuts. <sighs> Yeah, I, yeah, yeah I know. Cool it's life. disheartening news. No, it's a cool life. It's yeah, disheartening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, I, I honestly, I wouldn't want to switch. I'm not being. It's not sour grapes. That sounds like a very anxiety-inducing existence. Just like right. challenging people to like sinister fights, and it doesn't sound fun. It's not good to live like that. that I mean, must winning's be nice probably energy. pretty sick, but it, that's a it's a weird fuel source to be burning on. <laughs> Again, you know, everyone has a. It's different clean life. energy. It's, dude, I don't. I would I don't not be able to. Clean. Just you tell him, think- like, I'll kick that guy's ass. And I'm, oh, the rest of like, it's one thing to do stand up. Like, what if they don't laugh? Like, what if someone beats my ass in front of the entire country? That would stink. Yeah, that's a hydrogen powered car. <laughs> True. It's crazy. It's, <laughs> it's impossible to even conceive. <laughs> it is. A, it's a clean source. But if you like hit a wall, it, you're imploding. You're exploding Ooh, in a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Some like sixty year old boxer beats the brakes off you in front of the whole country. The whole thing disintegrates. Just fucking. I think it would take you. more than that. I think getting beat up at this point, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they, he could spin that. I think it would have Dude. to wait. I think honestly they'd have to find a dead girl in his mansion. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually the kind of that's what you're saying, like a a minor crash is an explosion. You and a girl, like, whoops, bought the wrong drugs this time. Yeah, and then she's dead, and you're like, I that's fucked it best pretty case, hard. That's best case I'm dead saying. girlfriend scenario, though. Yes, obviously, but that's pretty shitty. Yeah, that's a qu- yeah. You're right. That's like that's a belief that can happen too. That can happen. If she hits the fentanyl coke first, you're like, I'll hit the bathroom. I'll join you in the parlor, and you come out, and your girlfriend's just dead, <laughs> and you got to fight a 42 year old boxer that Sunday. <laughs> You just go, oh my God. What am I going to do? My mind's not going to be on the fight. Oh. <laughs> I have a fucking retardedly hot 24 year old dead in my living room from illegal drugs I'm not supposed to be doing. <sighs> yep. God, that would That's suck. That's kind of wall you Yeah. Because you'd have to call someone and be like, what can we do about this? You'd need a fixer for sure or a cleaner. Just a PR. Yeah. Just be like, oh my God, it's so sad. Like you have to have somebody like take her body and like set up selfies in other locations for like an alibi that you weren't around her. Yeah. Because your oh, enemies yeah. are going to crush you. And dude. you have to give a tearful press conference where you're like, you know, she did have her demons. Yeah. I never touched this stuff. You know, it was very scary to me. And uh, I'm just sorry it ended like this. Um, please tune in the pay-per-view tomorrow. And the top OG, Andrew Tate, finds out and just <laughs> fucking rubs it in. <laughs> Shit. Yep. Having the, being in, like, neck-and-neck contest with the top OG, Andrew Tate, would be a very anxiety-inducing life. I'm not, I, I know his name, but I haven't. The top OG? Yeah. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. <laughs> Dude, I being locked in fucking, like, enemy ship with him would be difficult <laughs> just a ripped shirtless vlogger going at each other like no dude you you'll find out you fucking suck <laughs> every moment so you're walking on a snake pit, yeah dude. that's the same that's the macro version of two dudes fighting at the beach if you extrapolate that <laughs> to its highest scale you get andrew tate <laughs> fighting with other yeah, but there's no it's 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 purely win or lose. That's you're either a guy with like old newspaper clippings who like hides it's someone high fi- stakes. Someone finds them and you go like that's nothing. Put that away. <laughs> or you're just kicked up. <laughs> that's fully what you if it goes wrong, it's fucking you had the old clippings. Yeah, you're, you're working like, at the dealership. You had the old YouTube plaque and they're like, Dad, you got a you had a million followers? You're like, put that away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> but dude, I'm telling you, I feel like the funnel for Action hero guys, it comes from professional wrestling these days. No, I mean, well, back in the day, it was the Wild West. It's only, it's only the who, who, who are the just the Rock, just Cena, the rock. Cena, Cena, Cena. He gets more Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yeah, but he, they, no, they, they are action. They are action. He, but he, 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 like I, I get what, you, 
I don't I don't know what you're about to say. Seen as an actor, there's, there's a nuance to it, but yeah. the, he does get a lot of action. They're more moments. cameo heads. You're saying the yeah, Rock yeah, yeah. has transcended. Yes, the Rock is a bona fide Hollywood. Star. Yeah, I think it's whoever does the most steroids and like doesn't die, gets yeah, that job. I feel like we should do action sketches. Action sketches, no jokes, just yeah. like a chase scene. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> Serious action. Why not? Yo, why not? Why can't we do a five minute chase? That sketch? thought ricocheted in my head at first. I went, what? And then it stopped. I was like, that would be pretty sick. Dude, just serious. it's time to do action sketches. Yeah. <laughs> that would be wild. That would be sick. <laughs> this podcast Woo. on our okay. on our page, explosions. We have this podcast and then serious action sketches. Okay. How much would it cost to escape a fucking like CGI explosion? Yeah. <laughs> not much, dude. Slow mo, slow mo. We all have yeah. to get cool watches, obviously. Sick fight scenes. We got to sure. synchronize. We got to synchronize our watches. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. That'd be tight. The sunglasses budget's gonna be outrageous. True. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. Who who's doing that? Where, where can you go to? Mostly just like, like online Star Wars fans, amateur yeah. action heads. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a lot of Asian guys that go to parkour school that do this shit. Yeah, it's it's martial arts. It is. I forgot about that. There is an outlet of martial arts. There's actually arts. a lot of this on the internet. Yeah. But it's all terrible. Yeah, I mean, we can do it like in a in a in a in our way, though. You know what I mean? I'm sure. What's our way? Better than them. <laughs> Damn, choreographing like world stars would be nasty. Yeah, they do that too. What? There's like fake fight videos or staged fight videos. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, there's nothing left to do. There's no original ideas. That's what I'm saying. This is going gonna, gonna to yeah. take the wind out of everyone's sails. Then we're all going to go this, and then the gay guns come out, and then. <laughs> 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 it's it's going to happen. to It's going to like slowly box in on us where our experience becomes largely just virtual. I know. We'll we'll see the tail end. Of well, that it. was in that. Uh, oh, what's that YouTube channel that people like, where it's like animations about a wage slave in the future, and it's like, oh man, god damn it, I never saw that. We didn't yeah. look at the buttholes either. We didn't. Oh yeah, yeah no, we didn't watch it in the anyway. extreme dagger. We look at dagger anyway. They the they are showing a future where you're like everyone's basically just like a gig courier. Like everyone, you just wait for your phone to tell you to go pick up a package and drop it off for someone. And then at the end of the day, you go back to a room, you just lay in a bed and you are like basically in VR until it's time to get up and go back to work again. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe by then too, they'll suss people out. They're like, here's just like, here's the thing you'd be good at. You're going to school for that. And then you just sit there and you have to like do your task. And yeah. Dude, they, China, they, China the image was of like a gigantic really? crowded yeah. like apartment block that was just micro capsule beds that people slid into and it's like your phone goes time for you know time for your uber drive yeah. or whatever time Get for you to talk bed. about dicks for an hour <laughs> 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 two hours and I hit the vr auto blow i can do it i can hang in there yeah that'll be crazy when that experience gets like i guess i don't know then you get used to that's the problem. You get used to all that stuff very quickly. Your brain's designed to just completely set an equilibrium. So they're gonna have to keep ramping up the VR experience, the intensity. Because you will you you will uh your e like you'll habituate, your brain waves will just be like, This is no longer interesting stimuli. And then I bet someone actually at some point will make the argument like, okay, well, it's it's just as real and pleasurable for you to live your life this way because the the parts of your brain, the same, the identical parts to of your brain that would react in real life are being stimulated by the machine. So why would you waste the resources that are limited for the global supply? Why would you waste resources actually doing this stuff in real life when we can safely do it here and actually uh, make sure that everyone has enough resources. Dude, I just got everyone so, has enough food and shit. I just that triggered that actually set off a thought in me, which I think they'll get to the point where they can figure out how to induce REM sleep in your brain mm -hmm. while you can sit there and watch just like not dreams, but you can have a dude write you an alternate reality, and then they spin it so hard that you genuinely forget which one's your waking existence and which one's your dream world. Mm -hmm. Pretty tight. Yeah, we. I mean, by the way, we were talking before we start recording. I think like the regular episode, the first episode, like like a virtual reality that like hooks up to your brain in a way that your imagination starts filling in some of the gaps. Yeah. So instead of it being like 
like instead of you being like, oh, I need something more for this, like this stimuli, I need more. Like your brain will constantly make it as real as it needs to be to fulfill you. They're basically rewriting code in your brain. They're like switching around the RAM in your brain. Yeah. To uh, to build out their eye, their shit without actually having to show it through your eyeballs. Like the stuff the stuff that your dreams are made of, basically. They're able to code, hit the line code and be like, yeah, I'm getting into that. Yeah, they develop, yeah. they port C++ to the human brain and they just make interactive reality. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. But then you gotta like wake up, then you just like come out of it and you gotta sit in front of a screen for like nine hours and read spreadsheets. You can wake up. Yeah, I mean, burn. but like the the second that they released like an experience where like maybe it's like a predetermined story and you're you're a part of it and like you meet and fall in love with a girl and you get through it and then it, like the credits roll, you'd come out to like an empty apartment and like a big fat like gut and you're just like an online incel and you just shoot yourself in the head <laughs> <laughs> with a gay gun. <laughs> yeah. What if? Yeah. Or what if it, the, all the power was left to people being able to imagine? And then, like, you would be, like, living your imaginary life. Like, this is cool when some dude just, like, does something so sick and you go, what the fuck? I didn't know you could do that. And that becomes, like, an intense fucking arms race. I'm just trying to imagine the sickest shit you can possibly fucking do. Oh, uh, okay. So, so you're then, like, this is pretty cool. This is my fantasy. Then you go, what the fuck is that guy doing? Yeah. There's I didn't like, know you could do that. There's, there's like, user-created content that gets uploaded back to the a dude just godzilla's a skyscraper with his boner and you're like wait what yeah now we're dude, talking do a backflip into a volcano mm -hmm. and shit pop out yeah not bad but then i'm gonna fucking come there and just just fuck your volcano dude <laughs> <laughs> shit volcano's like oh fuck yeah did you Shoots know that lava. volcano come isn't even nutritious <laughs> <laughs> if you like made yourself enormous and kind of like bad dragoned your asshole with Mount Everest. Like if you shoved Mount Everest up your ass. Fuck. There'd be dudes that would be like, okay, I'll yeah. download. I'll, this is great DLC for me. A dude would get to the top of Mount Everest and you'd put him in your ass. You'd just be like, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh my God. Oh, the top's so cold. <laughs> A dude's just in your asshole being like, the fuck? Fuck! <laughs> you gotta step it up. <laughs> and he just wakes up and has to go like work at Office Max, <laughs> fucking four hours. I was like, I gotta get back in there. Yeah. I was just any guys. Yeah, I, I gotta put somebody in my ass. I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> yeah, if it catches on everyone's. There's like a line to shove Mount Everest <laughs> up your ass. You have to wake up. The only thing left to be doing. The only thing left to do would be like to drone strike another country. You like come out of that like, oh, murder a wedding and they're like, all right, let me get back in there. Oh yes. Oh fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go hmm. fuck a mountain. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How, what time are we at? Uh, uh, nice. Oh, oh my God. God. How nice. On the dot. How nice. <laughs> I just don't, I don't, I don't see us getting back to that point again. So I, <laughs> <laughs> True. That was wild. Oh. I mean, how was, what was the coolest shit that you saw in Australia? Oh yeah. Um, Fucking uh, Tasmanian devils for sure. Did you Nasty get to hold zone. them? No, dude. These things could literally snap your bones yeah. in half. They have powerful jaws. But you saw them in real life? Yeah, they're, we were at like an animal sanctuary. Oh, neat. So we got to like walk amongst kangaroos. That was tight. I didn't touch them because apparently they they can get kind of nasty. Um, but these ones are like just chill. You know, but yeah, we walked with kangaroos, walked with the emu. You know, uh, Tasmanian devils were... Uh, an incident with them was used to prove that you can give cancer to another living creature. What? what? Yeah. Tasmanian devils were giving each other. Was he doing cancer. like the tornado thing and kicked up like <laughs> asbestos <laughs> dust? <laughs> <laughs> Gave his enemies cancer. <laughs> no, they were giving each other. Yeah, they're giving each other tumors on their face. But yeah, they, they were, were saying yeah, it's from were, like chlamydia. They have a lot of chlamydia. I don't know what. Well, I, they're like I, that's fighting it into each other. They like are. Scratching it and shit into There's, each other. Yeah, they're getting like an STD. They're just giving yeah. each other like elephant man faces. Yeah, it's like a problem because they don't know how it just started on this island. They don't know how it started. They're like, we don't know what happened. Yeah, but it, it is. They are cancerous. They're cancerous tumors. They're, yeah, 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 yeah. They're malignant tumors. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, so they, they're spreading it to each other. Oh, that's real life. Uh, Fist of the North Star. <laughs> yeah. Koalas like? have chlamydia <laughs> apparently. And then they're, they're doesn't matter. Yeah, koalas. Yeah. What's Fist of, Fist of the North Fist Star? Fist of the North Star is an anime. Man, it's the anime where the guy goes like seven star punch and then. A guy goes, what? And then his head bubbles up and explodes. Basically does. Basically, yeah. The martial arts version of Tasmanian Devils. And you want to pet these things. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Did I know anything about them? They were like crunching. 
they fed it a rabbit. We weren't there when we fed it a rabbit. When they fed it a rabbit, but we came to when they were finishing up. They put a rabbit on like a chain. These things, are like, I mean, I think it was a dead rabbit, but we heard. I heard it crunching the bones of a rabbit's tail, just munching through. It sounded like it was eating a rock and just like mm. pulverizing a rock in its mouth. It was terrifying. But they are cute little guys, and the koalas apparently all have chlamydia. Apparently, I didn't know that. That's a big thing. Yeah, it's like senior living homes. Yeah, they they fuck koalas, each other up. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I mean, it was... Dude, I was telling you before, it's like, what I wasn't ready for were the, the honks, dude. We're crazy there. <laughs> <laughs> it was... like I would, like, come out after a show to say hi to people, and I'd be like, everyone out here is so tall. Literally, everyone out there was, like, for the most part, there was, like, a lot of dudes that are, like, 6'3", just hulking after a show, be like, nice show, bro, and you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> good like, show, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, just fucking, like, good shit, mate, and you're fucking, like, dude, you're so tall, and you're so hot. <laughs> Not even, it was just like a me just, it was just sitting there. I think they all just stepped out of billboards and they'd come and it's be like, hey, good job. And you're like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> this is an island of just hot dudes. Every night. Nonstop. Nonstop. Like the hottest, tallest, hunkiest dudes. Hmm. Just walking by and you'd just be like, Jesus Christ. It was crazy. I mean, and I'm, not, I'm saying that objectively. I went to Brazil. So if your girl goes to opposite. Australia for a bachelorette, bro, bachelorette party, that's... Bro. You better hope there's Worse a couple fundamentalists, Islamic extremists on that <laughs> fucking plane. Because <laughs> you'll agree with all of their views if they if you were to have a fucking drone over that trip. <laughs> oh, cool! The battery ran out. <laughs> Kill the power. Whoops. I've seen enough. Kill the power and get me a long flowing robe. I've seen enough. <laughs> I'm ready to join the what battle. What else did you do? I'm ready to join the battle. Did you go to restaurants? Yeah, the food is... It was good. The food is pretty good. The fucking... Uh, it's weird because they're like like mega rule followers. But they... Like if you want to get like... If you want to take food to go from a restaurant, you had to sign a waiver. Because you had to like say basically if I end up... Le if I don't practice proper food safety and I leave this out to the point where I get food poisoning, that falls on me and I acknowledge that risk and I'm not going to like go up and write a Yelp like I got food poisoning here. <laughs> Whoa. And the, the chef can say within a restaurant, no takeout. And they don't allow it. Unless like, you'd have to bring like you'd have to bring your own container. But the chef can be like, no takeout. They'll just come take your plate. And if you're like, can I get a bag bag to go? They're gonna go, no. Chef does not allow it. Ooh. And you have to say, yes, chef. I wonder. Yes, chef. I wonder <laughs> yes, chef. Thank you, chef. What was the Yelp scene in Australia like before that happened? You know? I don't know. I don't know. It must have been mega cunts. It could have been, but I, I don't know that. But then you meet the Australians, and they seem like the least likely to go around writing bad Yelps. Maybe, they're they're so, maybe dude, it was, they were, were just, so nice. Maybe it was just because they were like saying it to their face, like, oh, your shit food gave me. Yeah. You know. True. That's fair. And they just got tired of that. They're like, okay, you can't come back and point in my the face. The Australian now. shadow lived on Yelp, maybe. <laughs> Potentially. Because they are like very nice. They're very nice rule following folk. Mm. I thought, you know, they got totally misrepresented by Crocodile Dundee, which, you know, they'll even say that, like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, they hate that reference. Were you asking people about that? <laughs> uh, no, I was luckily I went when I was 36 because if I had gone like four years earlier, I'd have been like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see Crocodile Dundee? It's for real. Is it like that here? I would have completely asked that and been like within my right. But yeah, I like I learned the last couple of years. I was like, yeah, I don't think they uh, they like that. No, I guess not. Back when Outback Steakhouse reigned supreme, it was on, dude. Yeah, we talked a little Outback Steakhouse. They're like, we don't even have them here. It's like, guys, you're fucking up because they were <laughs> <laughs> the fucking best. That's such a crazy thing to be prideful about not having. <laughs> somebody figured it out. It'd be crazy if you just took a culture and figured it out for them and gave that to them. Yeah, like, well, I yeah, mean, dude. Uh, I mean, you give any culture a blooming onion, they'll be like, all right. Who would did they I'm like? Listening. They're like, we don't even eat that here. It's like, dude, that's why you guys are fucking poor and don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> we handed you a GDP. You guys could have fully got on and been like, yo, Australia is like the Outback Steakhouse, and it would have just been Mecca. Mecca for dudes. Be like, wait, you guys really load cheese fries up like that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bro, that's what we do. <laughs> Migration, dude. <laughs> we become, Americans would have been migratory birds <laughs> just seeking the canola oil <laughs> and 
they just were like, we don't eat that, mate. <laughs> dumbass, you fucking blew it. <laughs> you guys could have invaded Canada. <laughs> Fucking Canada sucks, bro. We oh, said we had three flu Air Canada. They yeah. were fucking cocks. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. We were talking about it last night on Matt and Shane's. The dude, we were sleeping, and the guy the mask would fall down past your nose, and the guy would like, this is gonna bother you, but this is what the guy did. He went to wake you up. Mm. Imagine that, dude. A stranger. Mm. I'm not exaggerating that. Pull your mask up. I'm gonna keep doing that if it slides down, and you just had to be like. Wake up and just go, what the fuck? But Canada still requires a mask. I'm sorry. Dude, I, well, I had to warn you before I, I, I did that because it's did infuriating. It. And it's, it was tough because I, I have an did eyes closed you? reflex to defend and grab. Bro, imagine if you're half asleep. Yeah. Yeah, did, well, no, Matt, did he do I it attack, to you? Yes. I attack him asleep. Dude, I was, I was talking you about You let him night. do that to you? you can, you're in a fucking plane. You're Dude, on, I'm on a plane. What about I would've, I, what about there would have been an emergency awareness? landing. <laughs> Bro, you're on a plane and you go... I'm in Cam. I'm on a Canadian airline. These guys can fucking fire. They can find me for like five thousand dollars. I don't know what the fuck they could do. And you're in an airplane, so you can't, dude. The only thing I did, as soon as I lay there and just boiled, once I gathered my senses, I was like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Dude, I'm sleeping." He's like, "I'm gonna have to keep coming." I'm like, "I can't help it." And he just walked away, and I waited and went, "Pussy." I didn't. It was like a cough pussy. I just was so angry. I went, "Pussy." They just came out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out of my body. I was so fucking angry, and that was it. And then he, Did he came. Respond? No, I don't. I don't even know if he was still there. I wait, mm -hmm. dude. I was like in my head, like, what's going? I also was like, I had also poked. Oh, uh, so he was far enough away that you were like fucking pussy. No, it was like, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your game. No, you were like dude, coming, coming to your senses. I was coming to my like, senses, and there was like four words. There was four words. I was like, can't. That would be disaster. I like shot down a bunch of shit, and then just went. Fucking pussy. Like, it was like a, a reflex. I'm not bragging. It was, like, shameful. Yeah. It was an involuntary reflex. I was so angry I had to let that out. I probably would have involuntarily caught his hand on the second tap. Like, just, like, in my sleep. Well, you know? also, before we took off, I had a pen and I poked holes in my mask. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was kind of a little bit on edge. Yeah. But, yeah, because I was like, fuck this. I can't sleep with this thing. That's crazy to sleep with that on your face. It can't be good. Yeah, nah. To sleep in a surgical mask? It's inhumane. It's fucking nuts. And then they were wearing like, like surgeon coverings, like paper. You know, surgeons will put on paper, like scalpel. They'll have they'll be covered in like doctor bed paper, yeah, smock. Like dental the hygienist, the paper yeah, smock. dude. Yeah. They, the one yeah. lady was dressed like a dental hygienist, walking up and down, just an <laughs> absolute bruiser, just being yeah. like, hey, "Sir, can you please spell that?" And it was just like, "Dude, twenty twenty, I would have been like, this sucks, but like, I guess we have to go. This is like, dude, you guys are, you don't have to do this. I feel like." Maybe like five, six years ago, I feel like we used to hear about Canada every day. And now I think it's like, it's months and I'll be like, they're still up to whatever up there. Mine's the opposite. I'd never heard of Canada until fucking the truckers or until those brave patriots stood up and blocked the fucking border. No. Don't I'd remember, never like, heard anything about them. I, Justin Trudeau, early, blackface. Early Trudeau, early Trudeau, even before blackface, I feel like it was like every day i thought he was black that's how i Canada. learned Trudeau. i thought he was black well yeah they have a black fucking prime minister well you've been, maybe maybe i was listening too deeply for Canada what did you hear stuff. about trudeau what was going on I mean, it would just be every every day they'd be like included in regular news like, justin trudeau does sound Canada. like he could be a black r&b singer mm. justin trudeau <laughs> justin trudeau i mean he basically trudeau, was. yeah he basically was yeah i thought about that the other day he might be in terms of living people, he might have genuinely spo spent the most time in blackface out of anyone alive today. <laughs> he might have the black. I mean, they, dude, if there's, you would think you think the ratio is every time he did blackface, there was a photo taken that we know about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I got caught shoplifting, you didn't catch me the 150 other times. Once you finally catch a shoplifter, there's so many. Typically, there's so many more times they've actually done it. I'm sure there's grainy camcorder footage of him doing it as a youth. Like Bigfoot footage. Yeah. <laughs> Just like constant, like almost like school recitals quality video. Like him on stage at college doing at the Easter like, parade. Yeah. Just singing at the Easter. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, that's the one thing any parent can be like. That's the only thing left a parent can be like, not in my house. If you do that shit, you're getting the fuck out. Just blackface? You gotta live with your uncle, yeah. There's nothing else you can do to get that same reaction? No, you can't. There's nothing else your parents can be like, not in my house, get that They should have had someone here. on Euphoria do it. 
Blackface? The, yeah, if they had a kid who wouldn't stop doing blackface on Euphoria, then I would have watched it. And then someone's dad starts fucking him. That was Euphoria. <laughs> that was what happened on Euphoria. Yeah. I, someone's doing a thing that like 20 years ago, people dude, were like, get the fuck out of my house. Look, I, I never talked about that show person. while it was like, you know, a hot topic. Yeah. But like, I am deeply uncomfortable with adults who watch Euphoria. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, I, I was is that okay there, to say. Yes, I heard about it and I went, I want to see how fucked up this is. And me and Brittany made it through like several episodes, several episodes and went, we had it. We went, we can't, bro. It's so yeah. fucking gratuitous. I think I would be disappointed if one of my kids brought a tap dancer home. You wouldn't like a tap dancer? No, that's uncomfortable energy. I knew a tap dancer growing up. They were very uncomfortable. Okay, how about a father pedophiling a trans teenager? That's what happens in the show. A fi- like a well-respected father of the community is pedoing a, a teenager, a teenage trans. Wait, uh, a boy that's to girl? The, that's like a this. boy to girl or girl to boy? Boy to girl. Oh, that's gay. And pedo It's <laughs> His nickname's Domination Daddy, by the way. Oh, that's gross. Oh, I was going to say that part's cool. <laughs> that was very funny, actually. That was enjoyable. A little comic relief. Yeah, but you have like a Does kid, he get caught? A kid calling him that? I didn't, get that, I didn't get that far, but his son learns about it. And like, What's he think? He's furious because he's battling his sexuality too. He's a hot star quarterback, but he's also in love with the trans. I mean, girl. this is this is all a very compelling story. But he's at the in love same with the trans girl that his dad's pedophilically dogging and has dogged in a hotel. I look. I think borderline raped her, but go on. I don't know why, but I'm I'm deeply uncomfortable with dudes who watch or maybe any adult who watched this. Yeah, dude, it's fucked up. Yeah, it sounds. It's the darkness. I know you guys didn't watch the new Mister Str- Doctor Strange, but it's yes, I did. It's the book of dark spells. I witnessed yeah. the book of dark spells, dude. You think you're fine, then at the end, <laughs> <laughs> that new Doctor Strange sucked, dude. I know. I just I I watched it on the airplane. I was like kind of pumped for it. It fucking. I had to get real with my son about. it. I was like, dude, that was not good stuff. That sucked so bad. Mm-hmm. But. That's kind of that's what it is. It's, well, it was the same movie as everyone, everything, everywhere, all at once. It was the same. Yeah, but that was so good. Exactly. That's exact. I watched everything, like, everywhere, all at maybe once. Maybe it was unfortunate. Maybe it was like, well, I just watched the way better version of this. It might have been like Armageddon, Deep Impact. Yeah, but okay, yeah, but it's true. Mm-hmm. But every I watched everything, everywhere, all at once on the way out. I was like crying on the plane watching it, mm-hmm. and then on the way back, I watched Doctor Strange, Master of the whatever, Master of the Multiverse, and it was like, oh, I, same thing. I was like, I just saw. A so much better version. And that one was so laden with like I, look, predictable. Stu- it's like all the same shit they've interjected in every movie for the last five. I years. don't know if maybe I've changed as a person, but I do feel like the sun has set on superhero stuff. I oh yeah, that bro. time has passed. They were vamp- we, vampires were hot for a while. The superhero True. stuff has. I mean, dude, what's next? Let's do Frankenstein's next. Maybe we'll get into like tasteful domestic dramas. Okay, like three hour long domestic nail biters. <laughs> I feel like we had we, that wasn't that long ago. We had stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's got to be like sci-fi has to have a good. Ah, uh, there you go. A sci-fi renaissance would be yeah. welcome, dude. Yeah, I go, I do. Why the fuck we? Yeah, people are learning about quantum physics. Like, chart up some good sci-fi. Well, I think yeah. Interstellar kind of was too good. That was fucking like sick. it was like when Lord of the Rings came out and you couldn't do like fantasy for a while because it was like mm-hmm. true. Yeah, taking you got to take like sci-fi is the only thing that really takes our imagination to the next level. Because it makes us look you at should these watch you for you. <laughs> you should watch you for you. That's like sci fi for your boner. You're like, <laughs> I never even thought about that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark present. <laughs> it's a dark present. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, Sid. Sci fi is fucking sick. That is where like inventions come out of. Dudes write sci fi and they're like, ah, I think I can make that actually. Yeah. But that, yeah, I, I mean, like just the concept of like, I'm, I'm glad I've never seen an episode of Euphoria. I think Ansley watched it, but it's just like, just the idea of somebody writing that shit and then casting that shit and then kids acting and then a director yelling cut, like do it again, sexier, you know, like, dude. Remember, th- you're in high school. Have yeah. sex like a high schooler, dude. That you got to be nervous. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That's wild. That's wild. Do you think they bring in high school, to be fair? That way, you know how like there's a big wave now of like you don't want like an Italian acting like a Cuban guy. Do you think they like bring in like <laughs> high, high school, school sluts? Like high school <laughs> yeah, slut consultants? Yeah. Well they have intimacy coaches. Have you have you read about this? No. Intimacy coaches in movies? 
where they're just like, okay, now I think they've like kind of play twister. They're like right hand boob. Okay, great. And I think they like have conversations about like boundaries and stuff like that. And Sean Bean was like, yeah, they ruin it. They take all the spontaneity out of love scenes. And people were like, fuck you, dude. Love scenes are basically rape. We need intimacy coordinators. Is there a man? I'm gonna be an man. I can't team. think of something I care about less than that. Mm-hmm. In terms of being like, yeah, dude, and I've never not watched a love scene. Like that sucks. I'm always like, yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, so you're saying you can't sympathize with him? Where he's like, I don't want intimacy coordinators. I want to do it the old way. No, I just, I, I'm telling you, I just to be on. I mean, as a, you know, as an actor. I have been an extra in one sketch. I, I'd want, I don't know though. That might be kind of relieving to not have free reign because you'd have to have a conversation and be like, so I'm thinking about like credit card swiping your box over some jeans. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's good? Or do you think you get someone like, let's just feel it out? Because now that's got to be a fucking minefield to traverse. So I'd want to do script and be like, tell me what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, if, I, if, I, if I'm in that situation, I'd say we need to rehearse this to death. Yeah. We need to practice this over and over and over again. Like, let's just get a strap on cut. Just I know it's not in the script, but <laughs> straps on. Let's just throw it out there. Just straps on and decimates me. That would be so funny to cut. Like, <laughs> Holding my knees back. Just, <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, I want to do that so bad. I think that is the ultimate comedy to have a serious movie with just like 30 seconds of the most outlandish thing. And then it's like it goes, it just flips back into the regular movie. And you have to just sat, stop and be like, what the fuck? Why did he have to suck a strap on in that fucking <laughs> love scene? <laughs> and it's just, it just quickly cut in. Yeah, but if it doesn't inform the character, it would be too disorienting. If it doesn't complete... You know what I mean? It's got to be kind of a puzzle piece when this dude sucks a strap on for 30 on the rip. It's seconds. no, it's <laughs> completely unnecessary. <laughs> it's a non sequitur. And you're just watching like Matthew McConaughey, <laughs> like make, you know, amends with a girl, chase a girl down to the airport, chases a girl down to the airport. And at the end, they're making out, they're kissing and she just straps on and just reams on. Gags him in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Then like yeah. they cut to them both wearing sweaters. And like, what do you want to do today, babe? And like someone they saw comes back, a crazy guy comes in, like, hey guys, and they're like, ha, ha, ha. the end. Classic rom com. <laughs> <laughs> but at one point, McConaughey gets just fucking bent over. He gets throated. <laughs> throated. He's like, he just throat goats for like. <laughs> <laughs> he gags on a dick with like tears in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Next scene, he's just throwing a ball up to himself at a corner <laughs> office. Like, Can't stop thinking about that girl, man. <laughs> what? She works here? <laughs> Wait, that's my boss's daughter? It's <laughs> just so improbable. I haven't seen a good rom-com in a while. You and me both. But we're from different worlds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Love Actually was like the, was that the height of rom-coms? I don't know. I can't, I don't know the difference between Love Actually and P.S. I Love You. And I, I think, don't know yeah, I think the it. notebook, for, that's like the one I always think of. That's like the, that's like their burn. That was the, that's that, not a rom-com. Mm, the notebook. Oh, uh, you're right. That's a that's drama. Just a, that's yeah, just a, a rom. rom. <laughs> it's just rom. That is just a rom. It's a rom drum. <laughs> it's a rom drum. You're absolutely right. Yeah. The notebook. Man. I thought Love Actually was like the pinnacle. Cause I think, it, what's what's that, the plot, Love Actually? The, I, it, what, is that the one where they're in England? Don't Hugh, know, man. Hugh Grant is in it. He's a couple. In, yeah, because like rom-coms, they, they had their run. It was like everything was a rom-com for a minute. That was a big one, man. Yeah. Yeah. That was the, uh, oh, what's her face, Reese, Reese Witherspoon era. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's nice to catch a rom-com on a date. I do. Yeah. I wish we would go back to like loser dudes kind of getting the girl, like a movie about a loser dude getting a girlfriend. Well, what well that was overplayed. I thought that was so overplayed. Yeah, dude. but now I don't think. But then st- they they completely turned off the valve. Have we stopped that though? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Yeah. No, now we're, we're in the era of like dudes like Chris Pine pretending to be like charming and funny and like whoa, like Chris Hemsworth Who's is Chris big, Pine. Um, like Chris Pratt. He got ripped. no. He did the reverse. He, he was like ripped. a bumbling goofball yeah, and yeah, got yeah. hot. But like Chris Hemsworth, like plays the fool in everything. You know. Yeah. It's I like, got dude, s- why don't you fucking pump the brakes, bro? I got why don't you leave being a fucking retarded moron to us? Yeah, I got sick of that. Just being like, 
and then he gets the girl. I don't know. I thought that was. I didn't like that after a while. I was like, this is boring. This is boring me. Yeah. We, what about if we do like a movie where a guy's trying to get bros, and in the end he gets bros? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> Like it looks like yeah. it won't work out, and then in the end he like figures something out, and he's like, "Bros," and they're like, "Okay, bro." There's that moment where he comes down the steps, and everyone's like, "Whoa, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn dog." <laughs> damn dog. <laughs> I bet you can't be boys with him Yo, by prom. He gets like man, a makeover and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we can do the first bro coms. Yeah, are, just, there, are there bro coms? No, it's he, a prom com. He's yeah. just coming down the steps with like a keg and an Oculus, and everyone's like. <laughs> I didn't think I was fun. <laughs> I thought he used to wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new haircut? And then 30 seconds in the middle of the movie, he sucks on a dildo until he cries. <laughs> <laughs> they start speaking in French after that. You're like, what the fuck is going on? I want my money back. Man. Well, no, the, then you're tap dancing on LOL so random humor. What's LOL that's so random? That's spork humor. What's spork humor? That's that's the dark cousin of non sequitur, of of. But you get throwing one. in the not something nonsensical. You just get one. That's that's pretty close to like a Reddit, like an old internet picture of like a penguin holding a spork and just like a word bubble that says true. spork. And people going like, LOL, dude. So true. I'm talking about like, and you could just taint it like the most minuscule of just like the, like a regular sex scene. And like a woman just quietly is like, finger my ass. And it's like, you're watching and you're just like, the oh, fuck? <laughs> okay. And the whole rest of the movie plays totally. You normal. should be. Yeah. I think you really just want to be an intimacy coordinator. In every movie, you're just like, have we thought about pegging? <laughs> now that I've got you both here, are we good with pegging? You're just at the top of the field. Actually, watch me. You're yeah, the most make... respected. You've got these really thick black frame glasses, complete like black turtleneck outfit. You're like an art eccentric in New York. Yeah. You're just like, hear me out. I just go, Leo, take my lead. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath my like, like expensive clothes, there's a female body yeah. inspector t-shirt that nobody <laughs> sees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got Tom Cruise like goat seeing, and you're like, perfect. Hold that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be a cool job. That's such a fucking crazy job. What's the credentials? Yeah, it is a like, crazy job. Here's how you. You're sensual. Are you sensual? It's probably a woman, though. It's probably a, a woman gets to tell the guy, like, yo, here's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, it's like she's like part, <laughs> like part intimacy coach, part empowerment coach. Yeah, but shouldn't a woman. That's crazy. It's a crazy job. Yeah. It's got to be a French lesbian. Yeah, they. I. I. I, I Couldn't I a woman just be like, "Yeah, don't like, don't like, dude, knee me in the box. You can kiss my neck." Lenny Kravitz presents the Academy Award for that role. For sure, he probably is the consultant to the intimacy coaches. He he does seem like the first vampire of intimacy. I mean, I think there's only one rule. It's like wear a tank top and crawl into the bed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a mesh tank top, <laughs> flared jeans, crawl into the bed. <laughs> Doing stuff with your mouth, sticking your tongue out. Do this. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Touch your lips. <laughs> Has anyone ever done that? Don't say anything. Yeah, Don't ew. say anything. Ew, did you wash your hand? <laughs> yeah, it's gross, dude. Come on. That was like salty. Now I have like salt in my tongue. Just coated in butt Vaseline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that hot salt and Vaseline? <laughs> ew. If you get, that's like napalm. That's like smell napalm. If you've got ass Vaseline on your hands, your fucking hands yeah. stink for fucking like three days. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Dude, I'm such a basic bitch right now. <laughs> Totes. <laughs> they pen iced coffee is kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I agree with you on that. It's not bad. Sometimes I do get a little bit like, whoa, am I just a guy who just gets high all the time? Is that all I am? I, dude, I got That's to, why I took the entire week off. I haven't touched the stuff. It's in, nice to space it out. That's what I'm saying. I spazzed. Weed starts to suck. You hear this YouTube guidelines? Weed, if you start doing it too much, for me personally, it loses the magic, loses mm -hmm. the luster. Yeah. You just start being like droning. If you save it up and just get it's really nice. That's why it's, I think it's kind of tragic when guys like almost... I'm going to say stealth brag about their high tolerance. It's like, I don't know, man. I think you might just be doing it too much. It sucks. When you're like, yeah, dude, 250 milligram edible barely even does anything for me. But like, yeah, I can see why you got so fucked up on like 10. It's like, okay, dude, I think you oh, might dude, be overindulging. It's also so expensive, dude. 
Yeah, that's what's that's what's absurd. About I knew dudes used to smoke an ounce yeah. of weed a week almost. Yeah, and it was just insane. like, dude, this is like. There's no. This is half of your income. Yeah, there's dude. no way halfway through that week you're even getting high anymore. No, it's not. Not even. It's half your income. Insane. I'm telling you, man. It's but I, you know, I get it. It's like I think it can become like a compulsion, but no, I think I think I do have a naturally high tolerance, but I don't think I've. I don't think I've tried to build up a tolerance over time. Do, do you know what I mean? Like when I when I first started smoking, you I, think you've just got like a probably advantageous constitution. Yeah, better than the average man. For 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 the smoked leaf, for okay. sure. Not the uh, not the edibles. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm right on par with everybody else for edibles. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the sensitive. The edibles fucking nail me. Yeah, edibles take the kid out. It hit me so fucking hard. I get like spazzed when they first hit me. I just go like, <sighs> I finally get a grip, and it's like Jesus Christ. Yeah, I took a 50 milligram edible at Hershey Park. Really? With my family. How was that? It was the best ever. It was it was uh, these orange cream ones, and I think edibles do kind of fuck me up a lot. But it, these must just be either like telling tales on the label, or it was just very agreeable blend. But oh my god, man, going down crazy water slides out of my mind with a five year old in like a tandem tube, peak experience. Yeah, that's pretty tight. That's pretty sick. <sighs> yeah, that would be. That would be. I I know myself. That would be genuinely overwhelming for me. Yeah, I think I could do mushrooms. I don't think I could do it edible. The only part that was really fucked up is that one of the water slides, it was like you sat on an inner tube with a partner and you went down and it was pretty fast. And then at the end, there was like you your your, your inner tube, like the tunnel thing that you were going down emptied into this gigantic like cone shape that was on its side. So you went into this like almost like half pipe that was kind of like coning you down toward like oh. the final hole. And uh, I went on it with Mary Jo went on it with uh a friend of hers and she was like whoa that was crazy but she knew that if i was like the the other weight in the tube that it was gonna be nuts dude we almost cleared the cone we were at one point it felt like i was upside down in the tube Com very 50 milligrams in it that, was that again dude, ended the park day for us uh, dude i was i felt like i was in heaven i'd like to do a water park on kratom <laughs> I feel like a lot of guys are, man. Yeah, We've seen water guys, water park guys lately. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd like to do a water park soon. Well, you're running out of time. No, I got. Oh, I'm saying no. I, I, I got to wait like three years. I'm going to go. Oh, I want to go to one of those indoor ones, like the Great Wolf Lodge or whatever. Yeah, I gotta wait. I gotta wait like two more years to really get down on a water park. Yeah, sorry about that, man. That's I, all right. I didn't mean to bring it up. I know it's kind of a sore subject. No, no, no. I'm saving it up. I'm waiting. My water park is gonna be. It's gonna be like four years from now. I've been thinking about it. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. I'm not even gonna start researching it right now. I'm gonna mm. wait. Let the water park technology advance in the next couple. Hershey of years. Park's not bad. Really? Yeah. I've never had a bad water park experience. I fucking love every. I mean, there's definitely been like bad. Roller coaster experiences, but like I've never had a water park that I was like that. What you got like scared? Yeah, somebody no, I was always blown away. Like that was the sickest shit ever. Hmm. Somebody broke into my locker at Wild Water Kingdom. <sighs> yeah, I stole my shit. What'd no. you have? Just like my so every locker is like one crumpled twenty. Yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. I was like, <laughs> and my, my clothes to change into. Damn. You know? Yes, yeah, so I had to walk around the rest of the day in like swim trunks and a tank top. Damn. Yeah. Probably got itchy butt cheeks from that. Oh, Every time that sure. happens, dude, I get itchy butt for cheeks. Sure. So I get stuck in a wet bathing suit. <laughs> how they how they get past the fucking? Uh, I, I don't security. know. Maybe it's like maybe I didn't like lock it right or something. Right, I don't right. know. I, I don't know what happened. But like, oh, it was finders keepers. That's yeah. a doomed human being. Yeah, someone at a water park just trying to steal out of the lockers. It could also have been somebody my age too. Yeah, you know, like you just walk around and just like just fl try to flick a door, and if it opened, like oh my god, for sure. Yeah. But I'm saying when you're at oh, a water yeah, park. yeah, free ankle socks. Yeah. Yeah, but when you're at a water park, I, I, that's, yeah, there is something exciting to just like, getting somebody else's stuff. Mm -hmm. you like, whatever it is. But you're at a water park, you think your mind's on the tubes and the fucking slides. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some, like, it's probably, it was probably a fat kid. Really? I'm thinking. Eh. I think fat kids at water parks tend to be the most mischievous. That's it's, the most disgruntled, yeah. Out of yeah. Bunch. Greedy, greedy people. Yeah. That is the most disgruntled out of a water park. Super villain energy. Oh man, yeah. with a wet t shirt on. Wet, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Long, yeah. long wet t shirt. Yep. Yeah. Oof. Snack bar ran out of hot dogs. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> on the lazy yeah. river. You're in like, order to like buy a bathing suit in his size, it has to be super long. 
mm. <laughs> in order for it to be wide enough. So it's like <laughs> halfway down his shins. <laughs> Man. Bros, I think we did it. Yeah, it's, welcome back. Dude, thank you guys. This is the best. Yeah. This is. This was the best. The coffers are fat again. The fucking, we're stuck, dude. The cheese whiz is a triumph. We'll be in the, we'll be in the studio before we know it. Dude, lock down the cheese whiz. The cheese whiz definitely is in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> There's no doubt. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, if Golden Goat is ever an option, we got to bring that to me. Yeah, I'll find that. Yeah, I'll try it. It's going to take a lot to dethrone cheese whiz. Although, although that was cheese whiz mixed with blueberry space cake, so. You always cut it with something. I have been cutting the deck a little, yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was pretty nice. All right, let's get out of there. Sorry, we're just right. chatting now. Later. <laughs>